let's go ahead and finish out this CUDA free worksheet, adding and subtracting rational numbers. And you can find this under the Algebra 1 section, so I'll leave a link below. Here we have 6 minus 3.98. I'll go ahead and do this longhand, so I'll do 6 minus 3.98, keeping the decimals lined up. Put in your placeholders. Now we can't do 0 minus 8, so we're going to borrow from the next column. That is 0 and doesn't have a number in it, so we're going to actually have to borrow from this column all the way to the left, the 1's place. Subtracting 1, we're going to make this 5. So then, this number 0 gets added to 10. So this becomes 10, but remember we need to borrow from this, so subtract 1 from that. So that becomes 9, and now this becomes 10. So 10 minus 8 is 2, 9 minus 9 is 0, 5 minus 3 is 2. So the answer to number 23 is 2.02. .02. Let's go on to 24. 24 is 5.8 plus a negative 2.5. We can rewrite this as 5.8. Adding a negative is subtracting a positive. So minus a positive 2.5. 5.8 minus 2.5 will leave us with 3.3. .3. Now 25. 1.8 minus negative 3.7. That will be 1.8 plus a positive 3.7. Since subtracting the negative is really adding a positive. 1.8 plus 3.7 is going to give us 5.5. 26 is simply 7 minus 2.8. If we add a point 0.2 to the 2.8, that'll bump us up to 3, and then we're working with whole numbers. 7 minus 3 is 4. So the answer to number 26 is 4.2. Number 27, let's go ahead and combine these first two negative terms with addition. Negative 0 0.8 plus a negative 7.2 is going to be a negative 7.2 plus 0.8 is going to be a negative 8.0, or just a negative 8. And then we still have to subtract a 5.4. Negative 8 minus 5.4 is the same as saying negative 8 plus a negative 5.4. So that'll be negative 8 plus negative 5.4 will give us a negative 13.4. And that's our answer for number 27. 28, we have 1.7 minus a negative, so we're going to rewrite this as 1.7 plus a positive 0 0.8 plus 4.013. Let's add the first two positive terms together. 1.7 plus 0 0.8 will give us a 2.5, since 0.8 plus 0.7 is 1.5, and then you add that to the whole number that's left, the 1. So 2.5 plus 4.013 will leave us with a 6.513. Going from decimals, we're going to add and subtract fractions. Like always, we need to find a common denominator. The common denominator between 2 and 5 is 10. To go from 2 to 10, we multiplied by 5, so we have to multiply the numerator. So this first term is going to be a negative, 3 times 5 is 15, over 10, plus, now to get from 5 to 10, we're going to have to multiply by 2. And we're going to do the same for the numerator. So 8 times 2 will be 16. Now we're going to have negative 15 plus 16 all over 10. Because addition is commutative, let's go ahead and switch the numerator. So this is going to be 16 plus a negative 15 over 10. And we know that that's the same thing as 16 minus 15. Because when you add 
a negative, you subtract the positive. So 16 minus 15 over 10 will leave us with 1 tenth. Going on to number 30, let's rewrite this to start. So we're going to have 7 fourths minus a negative is adding the positive. So 7 fourths plus 1 half. Finding the common denominator, that's actually going to be 4. So we don't need to do anything with the first term, but we need the second term to be in terms of fourths. So to go from 2 to 4, we multiply by 2, so we have to also multiply the numerator by 2. 1 times 2 is going to give us a positive 2. So then we have 7 plus 2 over 4, which is going to leave us with 9 fourths. Second to last problem, number 31, says negative 1 fifth plus 7 fourths. The common denominator between these two will be a positive 20. So to go from 5 to 20, you simply multiply by 4. So we're going to do the same for the numerator. So this is going to be a negative 4 twentieths as the first term. Now to go from 4 to 20, you multiply by 5. So whatever we do the denominator, we have to do the numerator. We're going to have 7 times 5, which is 35 over 20. This can be written as negative 4 plus 35 all over 20. Since addition is commutative, we can say 35 plus a negative 4 all over 20. And from there, we know that adding a negative is the same as subtracting a positive. So 35 minus 4 all over 20 will give us an answer of 31 over 20. And on to the last problem. 2 fifths minus 4 fifths. We don't need to find a common denominator because they're both in terms of fifths. So we have 2 fifths minus 4 fifths. Combining the numerators together over the same denominator, we're going to have 2 minus 4 all over 5. 2 minus 4 is going to give us a negative 2 because you're starting at 2 to the right of 0 and moving 4 to the left. So you're going to end up 2 to the left of 0, which is a negative 2. And that is all over 5. So our answer is going to be negative 2 fifths. And that wraps it up for this worksheet. Again, this worksheet's under the adding and subtracting rational numbers link. So go ahead and click the link below to access that. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel.